Hey everybody, Ken Flanagan here. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests on my email and Facebook and Instagram of asking how can I refinish my clubs at home um, instead of buying like a Burr King, a $4,000, $6,000 Burr King belt sanders. Um, this is not the best way to do it, but you can do it on a bench grinder. You just got to have a steady hand and just be really careful not to try to take a lot of material away. Uh, first you want to start like a half horse, three quarter horse, uh, one horsepower bench grinder is all you need. Um, first you want to start off to make sure you get a flap wheel, about 120 grit, don't go any more than that. That's going to take your material, you don't want to take too much material off like I said. Uh, a nylon wheel uh, for the finish, this is going to give it a brush finish. And if you want a high polish finish, of course a buffing pad uh, along with some paste. Um, make sure that you got safety glasses and uh, a, a respirator because you don't want to breathe this stuff in. This stuff is not good to breathe in. Um, and make sure you got some gloves on. Uh, the, the club's going to get hot and it's uh, also you don't want to bump the grinder with your hand. But the club I'm going to be doing is a Titleist Tour, Tour model. It's a Forge club. Uh, there's a lot of bag chatter. This has been stripped because this was chrome plated. Uh, and if it's stainless steel, nine times out of ten, there's probably nothing on it. So you can start right from there. So let's get started. Okay, there you have it. This is ready for bead blasting the face or whatever texture you want to put on it. But you can see how all the bag chatter is gone on the sole. And I used a, I think that's a 120. You don't want to take too much material off because it, you can change swing weight drastically. And you can only put about 8 to 10 grams in that shaft to basically compensate for that. Uh, you know, I'll bead blast the face with the 80. Uh, aluminum oxide tape off the rest of the head but you can see how nice that came out it's a lot more work on a bench grinder sorry about the camera angle I'm trying to look at the same time uh, sorry about the bench or the angle on the cameras and everything for the viewing but if you could take a look at that I hope you guys can see that but it, it come out pretty nice uh, it's a lot faster like on a Burger King or a belt grinder uh, but this this baby can do it so uh, if you have any questions Please do a follow up on me. Uh, uh, check out my YouTube channel. Uh, send me an email. Uh, I'd be happy to answer them. And take care for now.